Christmas in Europe can be a wonderful experience. Many places have a special Christmas market that goes for about a month from late November right through December. And perhaps the nicest of all that we've ever seen is in Colmar, France, in the Alsace region on the eastern part of France. Colmar is just a beautiful medieval town and the market here is one of the liveliest, one of the most interesting. They've got ice skating, they've got the gift shops, they've got the crafts, the kiosks, canals running through town with beautiful lighting, especially at twilight. And we're going to show you in great detail how you can enjoy Colmar at Christmas time. It's located east of Paris, about three hours by high-speed train. So you get on a train, you might have to change at Strasbourg. There are some direct trains that'll bring you to Colmar, even by TGV, which is quite nice. You arrive at this grand old station. It's right on the edge of the old town, so it's easy walking. And they've got an information board. If you didn't get a hotel yet, you'd probably want to spend a night or two in Colmar since it takes you three hours to arrive from Paris. And here you'll see why it is worthwhile. The town is simply perfect for a Christmas market, including Santa Claus. The families come out, the kids are here, and it's great for adults as well. There's terrific food items everywhere you look. Right in the heart of town, you have this main place that's lined with the kiosks. Here's the old customs house. It's one of the more historic buildings in town. Actually, the entire old town is a historic and protected area, largely dating back about 500 years. Some of the buildings older, of course. We're starting out our day fairly early, about 10 a.m. when it's pretty quiet. Uh, here's the Fister House. It's one of the landmarks of the city. And we're going to be showing you the life cycle of Colmar throughout the day as it gets more crowded at midday and then more crowded in the evening, especially twilight. Everybody comes out about 5 p.m. It's getting dark already. We're here in the month of December. And Santa Claus will give you some treats if you've been a good boy. Get your picture taken with Santa Claus and his little donkey, his burro. Come along with us as we stroll through the little market squares. There's stand after stand after stand. These have got handmade goods, things you can eat, clothing you can wear, toys you can buy for the kids. And you'll find it's mostly French people here in the marketplace. A lot of locals from town and from the immediately surrounding region. And of course, a few tourists thrown into the mix, but it's very much a local experience. So let's just walk through and we'll give you a feeling for being there in the market in Colmar. Late November and throughout December are the perfect times to visit Colmar, as you can see with these wonderful Christmas markets. But don't hesitate to come at other times of the year as well. The buildings are always here and always beautiful. So whether it's spring or fall or the busy summer season, by all means, you should put Omar on your list of places to go. Rue Saint John is typical of the historic streets, and this one is leading to a watery wonderland. Colmar has many beautiful neighborhoods, but perhaps one of the prettiest is Little Venice, the canal lined with these old half-timbered buildings on both sides and a bit of a elegant decaying atmosphere here and there. You can take a boat ride through the little canals if you wish, but simply strolling is the best way to see it. You might miss it because it is on the edge of the old town, and you do want to walk across the canal, across the little bridge, to get some views of it. It's really worth finding. And there are nice little alleys you can walk along that connect the different parts of the canal. So you can easily walk over from Little Venice to the fishmongers area in just a few minutes. And it makes a pleasant stroll. It's the fishmongers neighborhood, which is really an extension along the same canals 
from Little Venice, and this too is a very picturesque part of town. It's pretty in the daytime with these colorful buildings and also at night with the lights on, as we'll show you shortly. It was quite unusual to see this donkey walking through town, who's being led along by his master as if he was a big dog. And turns out he's just as friendly and intelligent as a big dog. This man is from Germany and it was his first visit to Colmar and he thought he'd bring his donkey along. And he's out for a stroll enjoying the sights. And this animal was just warm and intelligent and he just seemed friendly as could be. The donkey is the man's pet. That was quite a little interesting sidelight as we we're strolling these back streets of Komar. The town center of Komar is essentially pedestrian and comprises numerous architectural treasures, including monuments, churches, museums, and little alleys built for the most imposing folks from the Middle Ages through the 19th century. As you wander freely in this little historic town, you're going to bump into a canal and an old building and all sorts of fascinating sights. St. Martin Collegiate Church is the principal Gothic monument of Colmar. It was built between 1235 and 1365. It looks like a cathedral, but in reality it's a church. It was a cathedral for about 10 years back in the 1700s. You're going to run into some music in the streets in Colmar in this festive season. And you'll be sharing the town with many other people. The City Hall Square is one of the busiest spots. You've got a lot of the Christmas booths set up here. The main street runs through it and look at the crowds. And yes, there are fine restaurants here. This happened to be the Bartholdi restaurant named after Bartholdi, the famous sculptor who created the Statue of Liberty in America. And of course you'll find concerts offered on a regular basis throughout this holiday season. As we listen to the music, we're going to show you more of the special magical highlights of the Christmas markets of Colmar. It really is a festive atmosphere during the day as well as right into the evening. And the main streets, of course, are open for shopping as well. The Dominican Church hosts one of the five markets. That's right, there's five different Christmas markets located right here in the small historic center of Colmar. You can get some great foods, the hot pretzels, and things for sale. You can get some candles, you'll get some Christmas decorations, Christmas stockings perhaps. Consider some of the textile products. The handmade tablecloths are ideal and easy to pack. They'll fit right in your suitcase and they don't weigh anything. All sorts of fun things. There's as many as 162 craft booths here. Many of the items are handmade and sold directly by the vendor themselves. It goes on for six weeks from mid-November right through the end of December. So you really can't miss this wonderful Colmar market when you're visiting France in December. It's one of the best. And there's a spiritual dimension to it. There's a historic dimension. You're surrounded by these very old buildings and there's a very helpful office of tourism where you can pick up some brochures. You might even like to go ice skating or at least watch some others skate around gliding on that cold, cold ice. You could spend a night in Komar. There's dozens of hotels that will put you up in all price ranges. Maybe do some horseback riding for the kids on the mechanical horses and just wandering the streets is half of the pleasure of being here during this special Christmas period. And right into the evening, the streets are illuminated, so it makes it even more festive at night. Back to Little Venice, which is fun during the day and 
even more breathtaking in the evening with this wonderful lighting. There are 900 computer-driven light sources using a fiber optics cable network that are skillfully distributed throughout the town and allow an original light show throughout the year, which varies in intensity and color. Like a magic paintbrush, it redraws the town, applying fresh contours and new reliefs, enhancing a thousand and one architectural details. Unterlinden has been a museum since 1853, making it 160 years old. It's located in a former Dominican convent, so the building itself is nearly as interesting as the contents. It presents a collection of sculptures and various painted panels, some of them dating back to the Gothic era. And that completes our look at Colmar at Christmas time.